Hi all, welcome to Dietor Series Deck YouTube channel. In this today's video, we'll see how to install firmware in MKS channel board where USB A is not working. This board is not detected by any computer. I tried in different computers, nowhere it is detected. So when I started building a new uh, 3D printer, so I'm using this MKS general board. So that time when I tried to install the firmware, so what happening here? It's not detecting and it's not uh, taking the firmware inside. So I tried many ways and I gone through uh, different forms and solutions and none of these things work. Then I have gone through some of the videos in YouTube and forums where they are mentioning about the bootloader. So where you can install firmware using ISP. Okay. So you can see here. So you can see here. These are the ISP pins. See, you can see ICSP. Okay. So ICSP means in circuit serial program. So you can see here these pins it mentioned like VCC and uh, MOSI ground MOSI check and uh, RST. Okay. So using these pins, I can install my firmware. So I came to know that. So glad it works for me. And the same thing I want to share with you guys. So in case your motherboard is not detecting uh, USB uh, to USB. So what you can do is uh, you can install through this ICSP. You can install the firmware through this ICSP. For that, uh, we need Arduino you know, as a programmer. Okay, so we'll use Arduino you know as a programmer and we'll install the firmware whatever we want here using these pins using Arduino you know as a programmer. So let's see how we can do that. So first thing is we need to check. So what are the pins we have? You can see here. So let's even in Arduino you know also you will be having the same pins. I'll show you in a minute. So these are the MKS General version 1.0 bootloader ICSP pins. So I'll show you now. So even Arduino, see this is my Arduino, you know. So it's a clone board. Whatever. Okay. So you can see here, this is also have the same pins. Okay. So like this, six pins you have. So even our MKS General also will have the same here you can see both at a time you can keep it like this okay in this orientation see see six pins so in Arduino also six pins so first what we need to do is uh, we need to install ISP program in this okay so after that you can connect same pins from here to here except you can see here there is a reset button rst so this pin you need to connect here in arduino 10th pin like that okay that's it after that you can connect to um, arduino software there you can uh, open your firmware file and you can load okay so yeah these two things will be enough if you have Arduino that will be enough to do this work so if you want fancy things you can buy this uh, USB tiny ISP so choice is yours in both ways we can install the firmware in this okay using Arduino as a programmer so first what I will do I will install Arduino that ISP programming in this then once it is ready then I will connect this these pins to these pins then I will upload the firmware through this Arduino you know okay using this ICSP pins okay first we'll see how to prepare this Arduino you know for programming so now I'm connecting my Arduino you know to computer to install the programmer so now let's jump into Arduino and see now open Arduino software in that go to file in that go to examples go to Arduino ISP just click on this so new window will be open so here you just select the board you connected so I'm using Arduino you know so if you are using mega you have to use mega okay so then which port is connected 
this Arduino board, you know board. So you select that. After that, you just uh, click on this upload. This will be uploaded to your Arduino Uno board, and this will be ready for programming our um, MK channel board. So I'll show you how to connect the wires from Arduino Uno to MKS channel. So now I'm going to connect my uh, MKS general board to this Arduino, you know, pins. So the pins orientation is, it should be like this. Okay, it should be same like this. So here also you can see six pins, here also six pins. The orientation should be like this. That means, uh, see the first one is like VEC, VCC. So that should be connected to the first pin. Second one is MOSI, so that should be connected to middle pin. Last one is ground, that should be connected to last pin, like that. Then uh, here you can see MISO, SCK. These two things should be connected. Okay, so this RST, last pin, this should be, this pin should be connected here in the 10th pin. Okay, not here in the last pin. Okay, it should be connected to 10th pin okay to program so for this i am using some jumper cables okay so like this so both sides so it should be like this like this okay just only one we need like this one side this and another side this pin okay so i will connect one by one let's see so yeah anyhow i'll uh, give you the picture on screen how to connect this that will give you clear idea but anyhow i'm going to show you how i am connecting so here first time connecting vcc this pin to this pin okay i'll uh, zoom in a little bit okay so one thing you need to remember the last pin is there no? that should not be connected here okay so the last pin that rst pin you need to connect to digital pin here you can see a 10 there you need to connect that's why i am using this so one side i will connect to rst okay so other side i am connecting to pin number 10 like this now it is ready now I will connect this to computer, through this I will install the firmware uh, in this MKS channel. So now I connected the Arduino to my computer. So and uh, this is my Marlin firmware file. So I adjusted as per my configuration. Now we need to upload this firmware into my MKS board using this Arduino you know as a programmer ISP programmer so for that first what I'll do I'll burn the bootloader so for that you can use programmer you can use Arduino ISP okay so you can use this one Arduino IS because I'm using Arduino as a programmer ISP programmer now that's why I'll do okay so this board we have to change so this is quite similar MKS board is quite similar to Arduino Mega okay so Arduino Mega so that's it then you just click on tools just let's burn the bootloader so now it is burning the bootloader you can see process is happening so you can see that the blue color light is turning on okay you can see that so yeah now the bootloader is burned so let's see is it detecting or not we can check it because see i will check it once because earlier it's not detecting after burning whether it will detect or not
see even though it's not detecting so definitely we must burn through i mean we need to install the firmware using this only so let's connect so definitely we need to install the programmer i mean install the firmware using this only because it's not detecting okay you can see that it's a bootloader is burned already you can see okay so now i'm going to upload the firmware for that it's very simple everything is as usual so make sure the board is properly because mks generally is gen l version 1.0 is similar is like art mega uh, this one so you need to put it like it is the same architecture of mega so you can keep this board then now we need to upload this firmware for that you need to upload no not upload you need to use upload using program okay just click on that then it will compiling for issues if any problem is there then it will show like that then these libraries are not available just once you load automatically it will be uploaded so i'm i will install then i will be back okay if any error comes that particular library you install so now i install all libraries so just i need to upload this so for that just check it once like see the board should be arduino mega because it will have the same architecture as arduino mega in uh, MKS general, so you need to select that board for up, uh, updating the firmware. So then the port, whichever port is this, uh, you know, is connected. The port you need to select. Then this programmer, you need to use Arduino as ISP. Once it is done, just so you can't use this upload option because we are not connecting directly. Okay, so for that, go to Sketch. See, don't use this option. Okay. So you just click on upload using programmer that option you need to select so once you click on this then it will be uploading so you can see the Arduino so light is blinking that means it is updating uploading the firmware into uh, this MKS channel board okay so wait for some time once it is uploaded okay. yes uh, so uploading is done so now this board is ready for using on my 3d printer so i'll show you how it is working also in the end so this way if the usb is not working don't throw your motherboard okay so you try this method so that you can still you can use your motherboard even it is not detecting with usb so any changes you want to do in firmware use this uh, arduino you know to upload the firmware so whenever you do some changes in the firmware you can come here and do the same thing just upload as many as possible times you want so that way you can update your firmware with a your with your custom configuration of your 3d printer you did some changes in uh, um, x axis y axis based on that you can upload uh, you can do the modification in the firmware that you can upload through this arduino you know so hope this tutorial will help you uh, on your 3d printer so same method can be used any board that is having this isp pins so even you can try in a net 8 board also even that board also will have this icsp uh, pins just find out those pins just follow the same method so you can upload the firmware and this method can be used even for the brick board also using this you can burn the bootloader and you can install the new uh, firmware in that okay hope this help uh, helpful for you and please like this video and uh, please share this video with your friends who are facing the similar problem and please subscribe to my channel to support my work thank you thank you all